Hey everybody, welcome back to another Broke Blokes Adventures. So, I reckon I found the most hidden park in all of Toowoomba. I don't know whether anybody knows this place exists except for the houses that surround it. Let's have a quick look. Here we go. This is McPhee Park and I'll just read it quickly. Site of McPhee and Co sale yards 1906 to 1946 where Australia's largest regular monthly horse sales were held. This park was gifted to the people of Toowoomba in memory of Alex McPhee, Principal McPhee and Company. Now, I did find, I did find a half penny and a ram's head shilling in here, but I barely touched this place. So, let's just have a quick look and I will show you how unbelievably hard this park is to find. There is nothing. There is, it's like houses, front of the park with the hallway, houses, and... As we cruise through, bear with me while I grab the trusty Knox and my good old Bunnings $20 Cyclone shovel, which has been an absolute godsend to me. I didn't pay $150 bucks like a lot of people for their shovels, but do a quick walk into this park. You wouldn't even think it's a park. Look at this. Just like a random little, little hallway. Cruising on through. There's another little walking space down there to the back of someone's house. But it is a park and I am allowed to dig it. And then, come around the corner. Still just looking like a pathway. And the council boys were in here the other day having a chat to me. They saw me digging and they were just asking me, Oh, how you going? You found anything? And I didn't, but then I whacked a couple of good coins. So, pretty happy with that. Well, I didn't whack them, but I found them. And then she opens up and this is it. There's not a lot to it. One tree and a swing out the back there. A little bit of open space, but I'm going to do this one over today. I'm going to give it a good hard rip, and uh, well, we'll just oh, there's my hand in front of the camera again. Good job, Johnny. We'll just see how we go. All right, guys, I'll uh, see you on the uh, on the first hole or the first coin. All righty, guys, I've uh, finally found something decent. I've got a few bits and pieces of uh, can slaw, and I uh, I, do, I do have a few new subscribers that have come to come to join me. I wasn't expecting, but uh, anyway, here we go. Here's a good find. Alrighty, so dug up a plug. The kids are all here to see me pull this one out of the ground, so that was nice. Yeah, I've got myself what I think is a nice little silver ring. So there we go. There we go. The kids have come to come to show me some of their cool stuff. They got a little dragon out of the backyard, and uh, yeah, we're having a good old time. So let's uh, let's see what else we get. Alrighty, guys. So we got another find here. Pulled up the little uh, little keyhole cover off of an old lock, and. Uh, is. What's the dog's name? Lucy. 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 Lucy's come to help. Hello. <laughs> Got friends today. All right. Coins. <laughs> so many What's coins. Up? Well, we found two coins. Yeah. So we this did a lot of digging. This one is a two cents coin. And we got the old two cent and this piece. One. And then that one's a special one. And then I got yeah. a nice little 1943 Kangaroo. half penny. So that was a cool little find Can there. I, um, That's awesome. Okay. All right. Yeah. Well guys, turns out the park I was at the other day was not too bad, um, didn't get a lot of video footage going so what you've seen previous to this is at a different park and now we are in a total different location. Don't know if you can see Alan in the background there, he's having a dig, um, we're having a bit of a scrimmage and see how we go but I'm on to my first find for today, let's have a look. And it is a little surfacey, I'm pretty sure it's a, rather a $2 coin or a $1 coin, I had it here somewhere. Oh look, there it is, right there, bang, happy days, dollar coin, right on the surface, nice and easy to find. Alright, let's see what else we get. Alright, you got a nice little signal here. So I might see if I can uh, do a live dig, people, let's uh, I'll come back to you in a second, we'll have a crack at it. I'm going to try and do a live dig on this one, let's see how we go, it's on a little 30. As we all know, my live digs what generally end up being bottle tops, so <laughs> let's not get too excited. <laughs> oh, my pinpointing's good today. It's a ring! Not the kind that I was after. But anyway, that'll do. And we're on to another one. 
Where are we? Here we go. 23, 24, 25. See if I can live this live dig this one. One-handed camera operation with this guy, so bear with me if it's a bit of a stitch up of the, the camera work. No, it's only shallow, so shouldn't be too hard. Now we're in a fairly nice little park here, so I'm trying to dig nice little square plugs and not make a mess. There we go, and as we do with Jono's live digs, yeah, it's a bottle top. Yeah, Bundaberg, you beauty. We got our we got our first surface find of the day. Alan Alan's got himself a spork, nice spork, Alan. That's a guy you were gonna that's going straight in the good bag. <laughs> Alrighty guys, I'm getting a bit of interference, but Alan's Alan's on to something. What have you got, Al? That's him. Alright, here we go. Nice silver signal, was it? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, there we go. It looks like a little pendant. You beauty. Oh, let's have a close-up of that. Should have got my glasses. Uh, we'll see it in the wrap up, mate. We'll get a clean up when we get <laughs> home and we'll check him out. It's a beauty, mate. Well done, brother. Oh, yeah, That's that, a... that might be the front there. There we go. Have... Oh, yes, we do. Yeah. Might have things on both sides. That'll clean up nice. Oh, mate, fist bumps on that one, yeah. brother. Well done. Awesome. All right. I'm onto something too, though. Hang on. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I think I, I popped it. I just popped it out the plug. She's sitting in the bottom and she's looking silver, too, man. There we go. Bottom of me plug right there. I just popped out of that bottom bit. I think I got myself a little. I should have brought me. I should have brought me water bottle. I, I, I didn't. I left it in the car. But that looks like a sixpence to me. I think I. I think I got a date. What's my date say? 1950 on the dot. 50 something. We'll clean it up. We'll have a look. You beauty. There we got Alan over there. He's having a bit of a dig, and I'm onto something else. Got myself a bullet. There we go. It's a, it's a beauty. <laughs> You're right. There you go. All right. I've been given the call. Now, Alan, you haven't got a pre-decimal before, have you? But you have now, haven't you? Yeah, buddy. He's smiling. Smiling assassin. Let's have a look. Oh, look at that. That's a good nick, too. Commonwealth 1924. 1924, commie. You beauty. Well yeah. done, brother. That is awesome. Yeah. Hey, we doggies. Looks like we're on a bit of a hot spot. Alan's just got his first pre decimal, and I've just pulled a half. So, 1949, you beauty. Let's get some more. Yeah, get a little bit of rain, but I think I got me a penny. Ha <laughs> ha. Yes, I did. Queen Elizabeth there. What do we got? Kangaroo, and it's a hilltop hoods, 1955. You beauty! Alrighty guys, I got another good signal. I just had that penny. So, I'm going to try and do a live dig. Oh, look at that, and there it is right in the bottom. Happy days. <laughs> well, that's a two cent piece, at least it wasn't a bottle top. All right, next one. All righty, guys, here we go. Nice little dollar coin sound. Let's have a look. One or two, maybe. We'll be right there. Let's have a look. See, oh. it's hard doing this one handed. You know, you get two in a row and you don't live dig them, and then you pull up the old can slaw. It's always the way. Oh well. 
Ooh, I tell you what viewers, talk about a good day, mate. Have I had some fun. I am soaked to the bone. Um, we found a stack of coins. Alan's, Alan's still over there having a crack at it. Look at these wrinkly old hands. Look at the wrinkles on there. Oh, it's so wet out. But fantastic day. So we've had a heap of fun out here today. Um, I'll show you a few... Mate, I stopped recording for a handful because I found so many coins, but I'm going to show you a stack in the wrap up and uh, what Alan got as well. Good day out, righto. Well, guys, we had a smoking hot day today. We absolutely well it wasn't smoking hot. It was freezing bloody cold and raining and wet, but we smashed it on the uh, on the field. So um, let's have a look at what we got. Alrighty, kick it off with some relics. Pull the old button there. Still got the uh, fabric on there. Couple of bullets. Key. Two different lock covers. Don't know what these little round jobbies are, but I've got two of them. Scored a couple of pendants that I haven't cleaned up yet, unfortunately, but you can still sort of see. You know, they got the pictures on there. I think it's they're both religious pendants. There we go. One on there. And I pulled two rings. This was over a two-day hunt, so I got that one there today, um, which was a little mood ring. And that was pretty cool. And that little silvery looking jobby as well i think it's only stainless steel couldn't find any markings on that did all right on the pre desis today nailed that little sixpence that was an absolute ripper 1950 on the dot my first bucket lister here we go that is believe it or not and you're probably not even going to be able to see it that well but that is a victoria three there's the three hang on can we see it just we can all just see the three on there my first one so i'm pretty happy with that scored a couple of half pennies one 49 43 and an o penny which is crusty as and i haven't cleaned that up and i'm not even about to in a hurry um got the 1955 hilltop hoods kangaroo penny happy with that one two three four five six seven dollars in spendies so that's uh that's about 5k's worth of petrol Dug a lot of holes for those brown buggers. That was fun. Over to Alan. Alan had a had a day today. Alan hadn't pulled a pre-decimal before. He wasn't doing much of it, but he pulled a 1934 one penny. Four years earlier, he would have been a very happy man. 24. Hey? Six years later. Six <laughs> years later. Six years later, sorry. Got a got a nice little religious pendant as well today. Two, three, four cents and three bucks. Got the old harmonica reed. Dug some trash. Oh, and the spork. We can't forget the spork. That was a scorcher. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> good old surface, fine. So, we did all right, eh, Al? Yeah, not too bad. Did a good one, mate. Yeah. So, oh, cover the camera. We're pretty happy with our day's job. And um, we'll see you on the next one. Hopefully, we can get out and smash a few more for you. Catch you later. See you guys. <laughs>